let's see if I'm the first one to crack. <laughs> For the last three weeks, I've been incredibly reluctant to write this speech um, because it's so hard to believe that I'm finished with my career here at Duke. And for the most part, since that time, I've tried to avoid thinking about it by throwing myself into my future and, and getting ready for all that's ahead of me. But today, Lauren Rice, Ricey, who we've talked about a bunch, like Rache said, came into the locker room lugging these four big black DVD holders. And she told us that um, in each one of them was every game we ever played in a Duke uniform. And for as fast as it seems this has gone by, thinking about every game I've ever played with a Duke uniform on, it just made me realize how long this journey has been for, for the class of 2014 especially, um, but for all of us. Duke was my dream school from the moment I really seriously started to play basketball, probably in fifth or sixth grade. Um, I mean that literally it was my dream school and that I imagined everything that it could be and it would be if I got to play here. And for everything that I imagined, um, it has been absolutely nothing like it. <laughs> um, it's been so different than, than what I thought it would be. And um, I don't think I came close to achieving what my dreams were. Um, but I've learned from that that having a dream place or a dream school or anything is really sort of a farce. Um, nothing will ever live up to what your expectations are. Um, but the most meaningful things in life and in any place are the relationships that you form with people. Um, and really, not even large amounts of people, but just a few close, really small number of individuals that really uh, impact your life. Uh, I don't think if in 10 years I looked at one of those DVDs that I would really, my memory would go to our games or all of our practices or all of our time. and the gym or the weight room or in the pool or on the trail or anywhere, everywhere. Um, I think really my mind would go to all the people who have impacted me in such an incredible way. Uh, we thanked a lot of people tonight for a long time, but um, I, I'm gonna do a few. Uh, first things first, the head honcho, Coach P. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to fulfill my childhood dream and to wear Duke across my chest. Thank you for all the work that you do and for being one of the best competitors I've ever met. Thank you for valuing my fiery attitude even when it was directed at you. <laughs> and thank you for, for all you've done. Coach Brown, God, I've spent more time with Coach Brown probably than anybody here as a post player and in post meetings and in post work and practice. And um, I can't tell you how much it's meant to have you there um, throughout my four years, pushing me and, and believing in me when I didn't believe in myself and encouraging me and, and just being really like my, the best coach that I could have imagined. So thank you, Coach Brown. Candy and Hernando, big candy. Thank you for all the work you've done for our program and for the intensity that you bring every day. H, thank you especially for your sense of humor and for your philosophical words after film, even though I don't always know what they mean, but they are good, they are good words, yeah, for sure. Candy, thank you for your starbursts and for always pushing me. Um, and it was a pleasure sitting next to you on the bench and and getting it in my ear for you. <laughs> Michelle, who's not here, uh, I appreciated how well Michelle understood me as a competitor. Um, more than anyone else, Michelle would come up to me when she knew I wasn't doing so well and, and would tell me not to be so hard on myself and remind me of the talent that I had. Uh, the rest of the fourth floor crew, Kate and Bobby, thank you for putting up with me, Bobby, with the ticket list. and with my dad, because sometimes I'd make him call you because I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and uh, Kate, thank you for all you've done for us. You're really like an anchor to our program. You're so consistent and just always on top of what needs to get done, and you make us all better. Heat Ryan, thank you for putting up with me too, um, for letting me use your Duke card whenever I need to print something and have lost mine. 
uh, and for, for helping us be, be who we are outside of the court um, in a really incredible way. Summer Jean, thanks for everything you've done for me, for all the milk massages, even when I really didn't need them, uh, for, t for taking care of me and for putting up with me and Chelsea and Trish hanging out in your room for way longer than we needed to. And to all the docs, especially Dr. B, for all the new snacks. <laughs> Ricey, um, the senior citizen, who's pushed me from day one and told me that, and it's called me freshman since I've been here, every time she's talked to me, um, for all your work in the video room and uh, for helping us get better there. To Dave and Kelsey, thanks for taking care of us in the equipment room. Uh, Dave, I don't know if Dave's here, but has a special place to me because of how close I know he was with my brother um, when Casey was a manager here. And Dave would always be the first one to, to let you know that you're really good and, and we are gonna be really good and he just had such a strong belief in us. Mitch, who's also not here, uh, big Mitch. I can't tell you the number of times I've cried in Mitch's office like a baby and, and he just had to sit there and look at me and not really know what to say. Um, to Susan, um, uh, everyone's talked about it so far, but your strength and, and your support throughout this year for us has been unbelievable, and um, I'm honored to have, to have met you and to have had you in my life. To Sam from the U Club for taking care of us and really for being more than a chef, for being sort of like someone, like a therapist. You could tell Sam anything and everything that happened that day in practice when you started eating and, and Sam would know what to say and would know what to give you to make you feel good if it was a cookie or grilled cheese or whatever you needed. Morgan and Steve, thank you for making me sound good. Um, like Trisha said, but I'm sure you made me sound better. Um, to Lindy and all the guys at the Blue Devil Network for staying with us late to do interviews and, and, and always capturing the best side of us. Uh, thank you also to the Athletic Administration, Dr. White and Jackie and Cindy, and all that you do uh, to make what we do possible and for making Duke Athletics synonymous with excellence. There's a smaller group of people I want to take a little bit longer um, to thank. I think that we all as people um, have a vision of who we want to be. And I think we all have inside of us a model of what we would be like if all the time we operated at our very best. And I mean that differently than saying that you have expectations for how you should behave or how you should perform. I mean that in that it's something deeper than that. Um, it's a feeling you get inside that you know that you can be exceptional at something uh, if you just could believe in it more. And a lot of the times we don't spend a lot of time thinking about that, but every now and then there's people in our lives who remind us uh, that we can turn that belief and make it into something real and that we can be exceptional. Um, there's been so many of those people for me at Duke. There are people who see something in us that they can't really explain, but they see it and, and, and you know that you have it in you um, and that you can be exceptional even if you aren't yet. Those kind of people know how to reach the better angels inside of you and how to bring them out when we spend so much of our time holding ourselves back. I've been blessed with quite a few of them in my life and, and quite a few at Duke. Coach Will, to start with, um, before I even came to Duke, I knew about the great Coach Will and the Beast from my brother. Um, you've always, since the day I set foot on campus, known what I could be and known that I could achieve what I thought I could achieve. And when I didn't measure up to that, you always let me know that and always pushed me. And um, Coach, Will, <laughs> Coach Will gets it to the gym before anybody and leaves after anybody. Um, he's the first guy there and the last guy to leave every day. And you can't talk about Coach Will without talking about PJ, <laughs> who's, who's run more sprints probably than we have. <laughs> and, um, and what you've meant to me, Coach Will, uh, to my brother and to my family, um, I could never thank you enough for that. Um, and thank you for always pushing me and believing in me. To Mr. Jim, 
Um, he was the ultimate guy for this type of thing. I mean, he thought you could be, he thought every one of us could be a, the, the greatest player in the world. I mean, even if we didn't know it or believe it, he was the ultimate guy when it came to believing in someone and what they had inside of them. And all year, playing with his initials on our jerseys, um, Susan, thank you for sharing that with us. And I know Mr. Jim's watching right now, um, and I just want to thank him for being a part of my life. My family, my mom and dad. My mom, who wakes up every day at four in the morning on her own anyway, because I just don't, I don't know why, but she does. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you the number of times I've, I've gone. My mom uh, lives pretty close now because she works in Raleigh, and I can't tell you the number of times that I've driven out to see her and made her stay up way past her bedtime. Um, and the number of times I've driven out at five in the morning because I knew she'd be awake and um, just for being my best friend and for any time that things weren't what I wanted them to be, for knowing what to say, and for pushing me to be all I could be beyond basketball. Um, thank you so much, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Dad. Uh, for pushing me to be all that I could be, especially in basketball. <laughs> um, my dad wrote me a note at the beginning of the year um, uh, about his dad, who I never met, um, but he told me that how proud he was of me and how proud he was my grandfather would have been to watch me play and how hard I play the game. Um, and it's always meant so much, Dad, that you're always there, and even when you drive me nuts, I love you and, and thank you. My brothers that are both here, Casey and Ryan, I have the best brothers in the entire world, um, I could never be as good a sister to them as they are brothers to me. Um, I mean, they're the epitome of the overprotective older brothers, um, and, and I love them. Case, the year I spent with you here when I was a freshman was the best year of my time at Duke, uh, and I wouldn't have, I couldn't trade it for anything in the world, and, um, and I love you and Rye for being the voice of reason in the family and always being someone I could call when I needed to get away from all the type A people. <laughs> Thank you so much. And lastly, my team, my team, my team, the freshmen, Becca and Odera, my little posties. Oh, Kendall, mm. Kendall, Kendall and Odera. I know I've been hard, sorry, it just flows better, Becca and Odera. For Kendall and Odera, thanks for putting up with me in post work this year. I push you guys a lot, and I know that that's not easy, especially when when Coach Brown is pushing you too. Um, you guys are tremendous players, and made me sweat this year to think you're gonna take me out. But um, you guys are gonna be incredible. Oh, I mean, I'm so excited to watch you guys in the future and, and watch you dominate. And Bex. My, my little sister that we had to babysit, the perpetual recruit you have to take care of. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's been, it's been fun to get to know you back, and I'm sure we have a lot of fun times ahead. Lex, um, Lex, I am, you blew me away last year with how you just took everything in stride and took on the world and being the point guard and, and all those expectations, you just took it and you just, and you just showed the world who you were. You just let them know, Lex. And uh, it's been an honor to be on the court with you and I can't wait to watch you come back next year. Ejack, that special group, Ejack. Uh, God, you guys were the most annoying freshman ever. <laughs> At six in the morning, we'd have to come in for workouts and they'd had like a blow horn and they'd come in, it was just like, seriously. Uh, I don't know how to say how much I'm going to miss you all as a group, and I want to give a special shout out to E, my post buddy, who's dealt with me for three years, and, and this year is probably the greatest year of E's life because I had two freshmen to talk to in the post instead of E, uh, <laughs> and I didn't realize how lucky I was to play with you, E, until I went to a, a camp combine 
in uh, Nashville for the Final Four, and, and I was, it was just one play, and I was trying to make an entry pass to one of these post players, and if it was you, it would have been fine, but she dropped it, and it went out of bounds. And, <laughs> and I just remember running down the court thinking, God, I never realized how good he was. I really <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys next year. My seniors, my senior sisters, Big Rich, Richard Jackson. Uh, you can tell from Roche, Roche has got a great sense of humor, a nice sarcastic sense of humor. And we've gotten along from day one, more than anyone else, we just click right away because we could just go at each other and, uh, and, and we didn't care. I mean, it didn't affect us. And, Got to give a special shout out to Candace for that, because when I started doing guard work this year, me and Roche would just start <laughs> arguing with each other the whole time, and Candace couldn't do her drills, and she got mad. So, <laughs> to Chels, my roomie, I've uh, had a roommate since I was a freshman in high school. Um, I went to boarding school, so I always had had a roommate since, since then. So, um, Chelsea is the only roommate I've ever had that lasted for two years with me. <laughs> uh, probably the only person in the world who could. Um, tell us all our times playing baseball in the apartment, all the times you've taken care of me, and um, I can't imagine the journey that you've gone through in your time. The times we did get to be on the court together, your big smile and, and Everything about you was just a joy and an honor to play with. Um, and I can't wait to see you in the future. I love you, Rumi, and I'm gonna miss you so much. To Big Pat, Patty. <laughs> I really learned a lot from you, Pat. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you for being the sister I never had. And, um, and for all the times we've had together, there's too many to count. Um, but our friendship is really something, nothing that I have nothing that quite compares to it. Um, and, and I'm so excited to see you in the future too. Um, lastly, I just want to thank everybody who's come. I want to give a special shout out to everyone's families. Vicki, Mrs. Gray, Mom Gray, for being a second mom to me and coming over, cleaning our house. Mrs. Liston and Mr. Liston for welcoming me into your family like I was one of your daughters. Um, the Jacksons and all the families that are here. Uh, that part of our program is something so amazing, all of our families and how well they all get along. Um, and then also to all the fans and everyone that's here tonight, thank you for making my four years so special um, and for pushing and for being there for us and always supporting us. And, um, and I'll always be a Duke Blue Devil and, and that'll always mean something really special to me. Thank you.